Hello everybody. In this video we are going to integrate arc sine of x. For this integration it is good to know derivative of arc sine which is 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared and integration by parts formula. As our first step we are going to rewrite arc sine of x as a product of two functions so we can utilize integration by parts. So integral 1 times arc sine of x Now, one of the functions will be our u, and the other function will be our v prime, which is dv. So whichever is differentiable easily will be our u, whichever is integrable easily will be our dv, or v prime. Now, we're going to apply integration by parts formula. Just before that, we're going to make our table. Our u was arc sine of x. So derivative of arc sine of x is 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared dx. Our v prime is 1 dx. So integral of 1 dx with respect to x is x. Now u times v, which is x times arc sine of x. Minus integral of v du. v is x, du is 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared dx. Now we are done with this part of integral. We need to take care of this integral. Here we are going to use another substitution. Let's use t substitution. Let t be equal to 1 minus x squared. Then dt will be derivative of 1 minus x squared which is negative 2x dx. And if you solve for dx here, dx will be equal to negative dt over 2x. Now we are going to write everything in terms of t. We had x arc sine of x in front minus integral of x times 1 over instead of square root of 1 minus x squared, we are going to write square root of t. And instead of the x, we are going to write negative dt over 2x. Here x's cancel out and we can pull one half in front of integral sign and negative times negative makes here positive. So if we clean up our integral we have x arc sine of x plus one half integral of 1 over square root of t dt. Now we know how to integrate this. So this is t to the 1 half and if we take it to the numerator it's going to be t to the negative 1 half. And we can apply power rule. Add 1 to the power and divide it by the power. It is t to the 1 half over 1 half. And this one half cancels the one half in front of integral sign. So we have x arc sine of x plus t to the one half plus c. And we can bring t back, which was 1 minus x squared. So this is the answer.